good morning we're here in Boulder to do the flat irons number one and two and my goodness there are a lot of people here it's good Friday it's a beautiful day and the parking lot is totally full we got the last parking spot this is my first hike ever in Boulder I've never done anything in this area before so this is kind of all new to me and just like wow there's houses and roads and just people everywhere so it's cool should be a pretty easy hike pretty mellow and like I said just a real beautiful day look at that blue sky welcome to Chautauqua and <laughs> there are a lot of trails that branch off right here wow this is crazy look at all those What we're doing today is like a mile and a half and what, right around 1,200 foot of gain. So it's going to be pretty significant, but relatively short. We're on our way up to flat irons number one and two. And like I said, there's a lot of people on this trail. It's going to be impossible to edit them all out. beautiful day today we have excellent clarity and that's where we're heading folks straight up there Once you get to the end of the pavement, you get this nice payoff view. Man, it looks like the dirt trail starts right there. So we've just come up the Chautauqua Trail and we're intersecting now with the Bluebird Baird Trail that comes across. And then it splits here again. And we want to go to the right to the first and second Flatirons Trail. We're right here right now. We're gonna go ahead and go up Flatirons one and two. We're gonna have to come back down. And then we're thinking about coming over here and doing flat irons two and three. But right here's the cutoff, and we're gonna hit up flat irons one and two right now. On the way up to flat irons one and two, and it's getting just a little rocky. trail's pretty steep. We haven't had many moments of flat at all. And we're to the spy trail cutoff. And we're going to go left and literally zigzag our way to the top.
I think we're getting real close to the top here. This is not too bad at all. It's really fun, really pretty. And somebody did a lot of work to make this trail. Still working our way up to flat irons one and two. The rocky ascent up to Flatirons 1 and 2. And we are just about there, folks. That's Flatiron 1 right there. We're on our way to the top here, and as I predicted, it's a small party of people. I hear bad music playing already, and we have this stupid thing. I'm sorry, but that's 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 unattractive in my opinion, and I'm going to go ahead and blame the people of Boulder for that. It's your fault, guys. Clean it up. I'm standing at the base of Flat Iron 1, and looking across at Flat Iron 3 right here. It looks like there's a little back trail behind Flatiron 1. We're definitely going to check this out for a second. Kind of goes behind right here. And here's that trail that's behind Flatiron 1. We're going to see where this goes for a second. I bet it just goes up the back side of Flatiron 1. Maybe you can climb it partially or something. I don't know. Looking out onto flat iron number three out there. Hit what an awesome view of it. It's really pretty up here. What a great day. I think most people stop at that first rocky section that looks like the saddle. But that's not the top, guys. If you look around the backside, the trail continues. And it's a it's a real trail. This isn't like some little side trail. This is this is it. So I think the true top is going to be right there.
currently going down and around. Oh man, I hate to go all the way down here for nothing, but I don't know if this connects around or not. I might have just messed up. We're way back here on the back side of one of the flat irons. I don't even know. We're totally bushwhacking right now. And <laughs> we're not by the trail. We need to find the trail. We got to head down. Looks really steep and super fun. It wouldn't be fun unless it was like a little bit scary. We're still making our way down the backside and I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna connect back. If we just keep heading straight down right here. I think this is eventually gonna be the spy trail. I'm not sure. But there was this little thing called the spy trail that spun off to the right. And I'm really hoping we're gonna pick that up, connect back, because I'm still holding out hope for flat irons two and three. Yeah, where the other trail zigzags, we're literally going straight down. But I think that's where we want to be, right down there. I think we're going to connect back. Looking over the city of Boulder right there. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we can get down that right there. So we're going to have to regroup and find another way down the backside here, which I think is easily doable. All right, we think we have found the break in this big rock ridge we've been following all the way down. Like, we've been on one side of it, the people have been on the other side of it, and right here is where it breaks through. And I think if we just continue on straight now and down, there's going to be the trail right there. Awesome. I really think we're on the spy trail right now. Really cool. This is a really cool back way. If you don't want to go up the conventional way with all the people, come this back way. All right, folks. And here's what we did. Originally, we came around this way zigzagged up between these trees right here to the top and then we went around the back side of that flat iron came down back here bushwhacked our way down and then just below me to the point i'm on there's a break in the rocks that goes across and we're going to pick the trail up now over here and we circumnavigated the flat iron oh yeah and now i'm on this really pretty lookout spot no one else is over here. I think we're definitely back on the spy trail now. I mean, this is a really nice trail. I'm going to have to check the map later, but I, I would almost bet money that we're on that little spy trail spinoff that looks like it dead ends. I think it dead ends at that point I was just on, but we have definitely picked it up. I mean, I hear the people already, so even though that's not what I want to hear, it's actually a good sign at this moment. Okay, guys, we're coming right up to a sign here, and I'm going to have to bet money that this says Spy Trail. Let's see. Drum roll. There it is. Spy Climbing Access. Yes. And we're back in the trees. We're off the rocks. Great. Should be coming right up to the juncture where we can take a right and go over to the second and third flat iron loop. 
We're on our way over to do flat irons two and three. We decided to go for it. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Because we're trying to go eat Indian food by 2.30. So we got like three and a half hours to get up there and get back. And then get over to the Taj. Or wait, where are we going? The Taj? The Taj. That's confirmed. The Taj. Buffet. All right, we have arrived at the sign. We're going to head up this way to the flat irons, two and three. And this is the way up to flat irons, two and three. This is really pretty back here. We're almost up to the saddle of flat irons, two and three. And that is number three right there. And this part right here looks a little tricky. Right near the top. We might have to find a way up right here somewhere. Kind of by that tree. Because over here looks like a no-go. Just gonna keep picking our way through these rocks right here. See how much more further we can go. Oh no. It's looking kind of sketchy up here. I don't think we're on the right trail at all, personally. Well, folks, we think we might have messed up. At least I think we messed up. I really think we're supposed to be over just underneath number three over there, right to the right of it. I think we're supposed to go up that way. It looked really rocky though, and we took a right, we jumped over to the next goalie, and that might have been the mistake. Well, right here is the way you get up to the third flat iron, and it's currently closed because of the Raptors. And if they catch you up there, it's a thousand dollar fine, 90 days in jail, and they might possibly close the whole area down for good. So don't do it. We're on the way back down, and it is still a beautiful day. Blue skies the whole time. back down and this road sure seems a lot longer on the way down than it did on the way up probably because we're hungry we want Taj we want Indian Asian food and we want it now back at the car and done with the hike and that was really fun. We went up and around the first flat iron, then down and then over and then up by the third one and then back down and around. We did a lot. We covered a lot of ground. Until the next one, y'all. Peace. Well, folks, looks like we finally made it to the Taj.